Hello and welcome to this DV 2023 end of April general status report. To consider the situation of the DV 2023 program at the end of this month, April 2023, let's access Zatisha's website and see the statistics. These are the general statistics of the DV 2023 program at the end of April 2023. Let's begin in the second column where we have the statistics for issuance. The trend in that column continues. Usually we have the highest number of visas issued going to the Europe region. That is generally followed by the Africa region. Then in third position, the Asia region, followed by the South America region, the Oceania region, and finally, the North America region. It is that same trend we have at the end of April 2023 with the Europe region receiving 10,852 diversity visas so far in the DV 2023 program, followed by the Africa region with 8,672. The Asia region is third with 4,839. Then the South America region, 994. The Oceania region is next with 451. And finally, the North America region with three visas, obviously because of the size of that region. And that brings the total number of visas issued so far in the DV 2023 program to 25,811, which represents 78% of applicants interviewed so far in the DV 2023 program. So those who were not issued visas at the end of their diversity visa interview currently constitute 22%. With 25,811 visas issued so far in the DV 2023 program, there are still close to 30,000 visas to be issued. In other words, there are still more visas to be issued out in this year's program than there have already been. That's a reason to hope for applicants who have not yet been scheduled for interview, considering that many visas are still left to be issued out. Now to the next column where we have the statistics for the cases and applicants put on administrative processing at the end of April 2023. The total number of applicants on administrative processing at the end of April is 309, which is a relatively low number when compared to the total number of applicants on 221G administrative processing. In the case of 221G, we have a total of 4,854 applicants, which represents 14.7% of the total number of applicants interviewed so far in this year's program. The Africa region has the highest number of applicants on 221G administrative processing with 1,856 applicants. It's followed by the Asia region with 1,503, then the Europe region with 1,294, and then come the smaller regions. The 4,854 applicants currently on 221G administrative processing should be a wake-up call to those of you who have not yet attended your diversity visa interview in this year's program. In as much as it depends on you, make sure to be fully prepared for your diversity visa interview to avoid your case ending up on 221G administrative processing as is the current situation of many other cases. To the next column where we have the statistics for refusers, with a total of 2,100 applicants refused diversity visas at the end of April 2023. Once again, the Africa region is top of visa refusers with 985, followed by the Europe region 527, then the Asia region 438, then the Oceania region with 89, 
and the South America region with 61. Although the Africa region has the highest number of visas refused, the Oceania region actually has the highest rate of refusals, with 14.8% of applicants from that region refused visas at the end of April 2023. And that is a cause for concern for applicants from that region who are yet to be interviewed in this year's program. I actually do not know the reason why the refusal rate from the Oceania region is so high, but in case you are watching from that region, then you need to be careful, take all of the precautions and respect the rules of the program in order to avoid you ending up being one of the refused cases. We move on to the next column where we have data for the number of applicants and cases ready for interview. A total of 20,041 applicants are currently waiting to be interviewed in this year's program. Obviously, the Europe region is at the top of those statistics with 8,527 applicants waiting, followed by the Africa region 7,598 applicants, then the Asia region 2,912 applicants, and then you have the smaller regions. Now, considering the relatively low percentage of visas not issued, we can say that by the time we get to the end of June 2023, we will have at least 40,000 visas issued out in this year's program, considering the current statistics. So, as many as 15,000 visas should still be available during the final quarter of this year's program, we should be another reason to hope for applicants whose case numbers are not too far above the current interview scheduling range for their region or country. Next to the chances of applicants in the DV 2023 program. Some time ago, we indicated that there were two trends when it comes to the chances of applicants in this year's program. We said that the chances of applicants from the smaller regions depend on their case number. And then in the case of applicants from the bigger regions, we said their chances depend on the performance of their embassy. So that's the next thing we are going to consider. But in order to maintain the length of this video at a certain level, the discussion concerning the performance of embassies at the end of April 2023 is presented in a separate video that is entirely dedicated to that. And so that is it for this one. That brings us to the end of the end of April 2023 general status report for the DV 2023 program. See you in a short while as we consider the performance of the various embassies covered on this channel. Until then, thanks for watching.